I want to share something that I haven't really touched on too much in the blog. I'd be lying if I said I was really excited about today and the weather, and Monday in January. Feeling the winter blues here. Basically how I feel today, in the middle of January. Kind of melancholy, gray outside, so I need to snap off it. Is it May, June, or like here in Minneapolis, we have to wait until about July 1st for summer, so I don't know if I can wait that long. Late afternoon, Monday, and I have to say, guilty, guilty as charged. I have the Monday gray blues, middle of January. I need to snap out of it. If you live in the north, it's a real thing. I would like a favor, a small favor, if you can. Send me some sun, send me some sand. Nothing crazy, maybe just a little daylight, some sunshine, maybe uh, sunshine could be verbal comments or whatever it is to uh, get me through this day because it's one of those I hereby declare the most boring day it's been a very blue Monday as I've been uh, making little notations along this blog today but I want to share something that I haven't really touched on too much in the blog but um, something you may not know about me and my Everything you know, that I share is mainly fitness and mindset and that sort of thing. And you know, or you probably know from, from the previous vlogs that I have two daughters, Alyssa and Erica. Uh, it's so hard to get good lighting in here, but this is gonna have to do. I don't wanna move lights around all the time. It's a big pain, PIA. And then um, studio, I have some thoughts in there. I wanna set up more of a, a background wall, some lights standard, and then I don't have to move around as much. And it's cold out there still. and. The tile projects got me a little off. Anyway, so I am divorced. My ex-wife Lisa lives like five blocks from me and the girls are over there a lot. And we can go back and forth pretty easily with being so close and right by the schools. And so it works out really well. But I, I thought the more I've been divorced about four years or a little over four years, but it seems like the relationship that we have and working together seems a little bit more on the unique side these days. And we exchanged gifts over Christmas. I bought her this thermostat this auto program thermostat. I don't have one at my house here yet, but I was, I'm gonna go over and install it at some point this week or this weekend. And I'm over there, I help out with some things over there and she she helps with me with a couple items and we share rides with the girls, dropping off, this sort of thing. But So we just really work well together, I think, as far as a parenting team. And I know my girls, Alyssa and Erica, if you're watching this, I think you appreciate it. And we just work well together. And it just, in this day and age, it seems like that's a little bit more unique. So that's something I haven't really touched on too much in the vlog, but now you know. It's not uncommon for people to be in longer term relationships and not terribly happy, and maybe they're not really working on themselves or, and they, they're going in different directions and just kind of continue to stay in that. And I'm not here to judge or anything, but it's what worked out for us in our situation. And we're working on and continuing to always work well together. And it just works. It, there, of course, there's challenges to that, but you know, I'm, not, I'm never here to say, well, everything's all perfect. And I think you know me well enough by watching the vlogs that I'm pretty much, this is what it is. So. But I took this out. This is the Honeywell model, the T5. I'm not doing a product review or anything, but I took everything out of the box to kind of read the directions. Read the directions to see what I needed. And it's really, I think it boils down to like three wires. As you can tell, the theme of this week, the last couple of days has been more DIY stuff. I'm really excited. I think that blue tile from yesterday, that's probably going to be the route. So that's a little bit of the background on the dynamic of our family and how it's all working out. And for the most part, you know, it seems like it's working pretty well. But, you know, it has just like anything. It has its ups and its downs and its challenges. But you learn from that and you work through it and you continue to move forward. But with that, I have to run and get some food for Erica, pick her up for volleyball night, practice, a little bit of this kind of stuff going on. But in between that, it was a slower day, like I said. So I've been trying to catch up on some personal development. One of my the guys that I follow very closely, Lewis, out in uh, Australia, he, he's got some nuggets all the time. And that will become your belief. And beliefs drive results. Just understand that people don't even know their own beliefs and their own limitations, but they will project it and it will rub off and keep you at uh, a certain level. It'll keep you... You want to 
read your Richards and your Napoleons and your Roberts and your Tonys and your Tims. And There's also some conversations I was having too with my friend up in Canada, Derek, on just being able to um, get in the happy flow state. When you're happy and you're laughing, just things just start to fall into place. But when you stress about them and you try to press it, I covered this the other day in the other vlog about holding too tight. But if you just let go, you laugh, you enjoy, enjoy the night and your, or the day and you're out having fun with some friends, you're smiling, you're laughing, you're watching your favorite show, things start to flow. As long as you're not just never doing any of the work. Always a happy balance. The places I go to get out of the house, I swear.